Language allows us to share thoughts and feelings with somebody else. It's our cultural glue. Otherwise, we'd live in a world of just babble. But there's more to language than that, much more. Elements that even affect the structure and functioning of our brains. But first, a few facts about language. The first words spoken may have been about 250,000 years ago. More than half of the people around the world, estimates vary between 60 and 75 percent, speak at least two languages. At least 80 percent of primary and secondary students in 24 European countries are learning a foreign language. In the United States, the number is 20 percent. New Jersey has the most students studying a foreign language, 51 percent. English is the most studied foreign language across all age ranges in Europe. Now, how learning those languages impacts our noggins. Brain scans show that people who speak more than one language have more gray matter in their anterior cingulate cortex. That's the area that's linked to everything from learning to social behavior to resolving conflicts. A leading neuropsychologist says it's like a muscle. Using it makes it bigger, makes it more flexible. There's a sort of constant competition that goes on in the brains of people who speak multiple languages. All of them remain active, so they have to be regulated well. Cue the brain's executive functions, a regulatory system that includes inhibition. This allows a person to focus and sort of pause the language not being used at the moment. Research shows this mechanism has a lot of other uses. People who speak more than one language are better at switching between two tasks. An example, bilinguals can switch from categorizing objects by color to sorting them by shape more rapidly than monolinguals. Why is this? Their brains regularly inhibit languages and employ that same regulation to just inhibit tasks. It doesn't end there, though. People who speak more than one language also have the ability to make some more rational decisions. When faced with a choice, the inhibition center quiets intuitions and emotions. This means that bilingual people might be better employees for jobs requiring rational planning or managing complexities and problem solving. Some other implications, bilingual children are better at adjusting to environmental changes and bilingual seniors can experience less cognitive decline. There are even indications that speaking more than one language can lead to faster stroke recovery. Is picking up a second language easy? <laughs> no. Not always, especially as an adult, but the brain benefits are awfully robust. Not to mention, it's useful knowing the difference between embarrassada and embarrassed.